Hello, Sumo fans. I'm Scott Finlay, and welcome to another episode of the Sumo News, right here on World of Sumo. As in the previous news video, right here, link in the description, I will be bringing you a couple of interviews translated from Mongolian that were taken by Mongolian journalists from Haramafuji, Kakaru, Kisena Sato, and Hakoho himself. The previous video had Haramafuji, this one is Kakaru, and we'll have Kisena Sato in the next. Hello, Yokozuna. Did you know Hakoho before you started sumo? I heard rumours that the son of a grand champion is going to start sumo. We were born in the same year. Both of us come from Ulaanbaatar. Hakoho went to the first school. I went to the 31st and our homes were very close. Technically neighbours. There's about 700 metres distance between our schools. But we first met each other in Japan. I started my career in Kyushu Basho 2001, about one year after him. As I was talking to Hoshi Hikari, the son of Dovchin Zan, elephant equivalent to Sekiwaki and Mongolian Bok from Hakkaku Bear, we saw a young Rikishi with a bicycle. That was Hakoho. That was our first meeting. After that, I didn't meet Hakoho for two more years. He got promoted to Sekitori ranks very quickly, while I was stuck in the lower ranks. So our bout times varied. After I won the Sandan Meiyu show in Nagoya 2004, one morning Hakoho suddenly came to our stable for training. I was shocked and scared at the same time. We didn't see each other for a long time, and some Makauchi wrestlers just walked into our morning training. Of course I was shocked. Our stable didn't have any Sekitori wrestlers, I was wondering, with whom did he come to practice with? And greeted him in sumo customs. Hakoho said to me, you've got talent, you can get to Makauchi. I was grateful that he said something like that to me. He taught me that day many things like placing my body differently, adapting to each chimarity, how to place my head, blocking my armpit and to feel my body move efficiently. I noticed later that Hakoho has this incredible feel. He notices talented rikishis who are going to be future rivals of his or foes, no matter their divisions or ranks, and goes to their stables to train with them. We can say that he is spying and gathering information about his future rivals. You fought each other many times. Which one was the most memorable? Haru, 2014, I was East Ozeki that basho. In the previous basho, I had Jun Yusho with a 14-1 record, and I was told that I could be promoted if I won that basho. It was obvious that I'll be promoted only in case I win against Hakoho. I beat him that basho and got promoted to Yokozuna. There is also one more. Last day of Haru basho 2020 was also very memorable. We fought each other for the title. That was our last bout, both of us being Yokozuna. Hakoho won that one and the title. You retired exactly one year after this bout. You have your retirement ceremony in June, right? Yes, Rikishi do their ceremonies usually six months after their retirement. We have to make a reservation for the arena. Because of COVID, no one could do their ceremonies, so there was a long queue. Today was actually my ceremony day, which was approved and reserved but I couldn't make it on time. So Hakoho took this day. I'm having my ceremony on June 3rd. What does Yokozuna mean to you? If I say it short and simple, your name is written at the top of the Banzuki. You can't lose, you must win. But when you go off the dohyo, it's just an ordinary person. I have to say it's my personal thought though. When I became Yokozuna, I wanted to still be me to everybody but everybody addressed me and seen me as Yokozuna, but I was always me to myself. Hakoho and you are now both Oyakata and will be working together in the Japan Sumo Association. Thoughts? We must repay Sumo for what we got. We must do our jobs properly and raise good students. Always great to hear from former Yokozuna Kakaru always a humble and gentle man. And that's it for this episode of the Sumo News. 
Thank you as always for watching and sumo fans remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell. Oh what did I get? What did I